Shared experiences can forge powerful bonds, and those bonds can help people not only deal with their challenges better, but feel less alone and more resilient. There's a new startup that's providing the space for groups of people going through similar struggles to forge these bonds. My name is Irad Eichler, and I'm the founder and CEO at Circles. Irad is going to walk us through why his startup is going to change the way we see mental health, and hopefully help people see that there is support all around them. So what exactly does Circles provide? What we are doing is we be solving the loneliness that comes with any kind of life challenge, anywhere from cancer, divorce, grief, through people that are going through any kind of anxiety, even uh, young moms uh, that are dealing with the loneliness that comes with being uh, a first time mom. So all the way and even like challenges like I'm experiencing myself being a father of a adolescents or teenagers. So that's also to be really challenging. And the way we solve this challenge is we connect people that are going through the, exactly the same life challenge and we make we help them to bond. And by bonding, they feel connected and they feel that they are part of something and they belong and they get relief. What compelled you to create Circles? So seven years ago, I lost my mother to cancer. And after she, I lost her and she passed away, I was grieving myself and I witnessed that most of the communication about grieving was with my siblings as opposed to, you know, with my father or with my partner. They really cared about me and they loved me and kind of like I, w- I was you know, surrounded by love. But the only thing that was really meaningful and I felt that people really get me is when I talked, spoke with my siblings or other people that lost their uh, parents. And then I went out and I was looking for a go-to place, a place for people that are dealing with any kind of emotional challenge and there wasn't any and there isn't a go-to place for people that are dealing with the same life challenge to connect in a meaningful and a structural way and that's what we're building the circles and that's kind of like where it came from given all the benefits found to be linked with support groups it's kind of surprising that circles is the first platform of its kind but a rod is on to something huge here Seeking help for mental health isn't taboo anymore, yet that doesn't mean there are suddenly more mental health professionals with open schedules and low fees. That's why we need to make use of the resources around us more than ever. And humanity's best resource is and always has been community. So on that note, how would you define success within circles? For me, success is to make sure that nobody in the world will be left alone while dealing with any kind of emotional challenge because they are not afraid to share and they are not afraid to seek for help. They are not afraid and not, they're not stressed about dealing with what they're, they're going through. Because we, at the end of the day, that's our social responsibility. And, and make no mistake, we are a business and we, we are going to make a, a lot of money while making an impact. But that's kind of the success for us because once you bring value with your product, then success will follow. How are you hoping Circles will impact your industry? So when you think of like mental health in the world now, you see that there is a spike in demand, but supply is the same, right? So like 80% of Americans in the last two weeks are reported that they feel stressed. 80% of Americans, and there is no solution for them out there. So when you think of mental health, uh, most of the people think of therapy, right? Like immediately you think of therapy and thinking that you can solve mental health challenge just with therapy it's like thinking that you can solve world hunger just with high-end restaurants just with chef restaurant it just doesn't fit it's not accessible so the impact that we are going to have on the industry and is that we are going to provide the second solution after therapy so it was therapy 120 years ago and now and and then came groups and that's what we are building we are building groups that it's the combination between the the mental health and the connection and the social part. And that's what we are bringing. So that's the impact. When people experience an emotional challenge, they will immediately think of a circle of a group that they want to belong to. Last question. What advice would you give your younger self? That it's okay. Everything is okay. Be present at the moment. Enjoy the moment. Cherish the moments. Like now that I, I know how it works, like I tell the team sometimes, you know, Take a look around you, cherish this moment because 
Within six months, we will be double the size of the team. And if we won't have this intimacy that we have right now. So you know, really cherish the moments that you kind of like be present and amazing. And I would give it to myself right now, not just, not just my younger self, but also myself, because it's super hard. It's super hard to be present and kind of cherish uh, the moments.